Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and no, I'm not holding out for this lock to be a particularly high security lock or a hard pick. However, I just am a sucker for new old stock locks with cool packaging, uh, all that sort of mid-century design. This one's made in Hong Kong. It says that it's a sign of the sign of locks and latch in super quality. I'm not entirely sure that's a great sentence, but it's uh, it's definitely what it is. I do like this Wren Bird brand registered trademark. Just everything about this is sort of cool. Um, I mean, maybe it's just me, but I just love this kind of box. I really do. This could actually be a modern locker. They just haven't updated the packaging. I don't know. But this is exactly how it came. Um, it's obviously got all the stuff in there. The inside latch system for the, the door, which we just won't bother with. There's no lock on that at all. Um, move that box out of the way. And you can see here is the bird brand lock. It's got a, very much a Yale style keyway. They attach the keys by putting one of the screws in. That doesn't really do much else. And let's have a look. Is this six pin or five pin? Looks like a five pin. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. How does it work? Works quite smoothly. Very nice. Definitely brand new, isn't it? It's actually got quite sharp edges. Don't, don't really even tell. But yeah, it's just uh, it's a bit rough and ready. Pop this in a vise. Can we cut this? Oh, wow, what's going on there? Uh, so the answer is probably, how do you get that off? I think you might have to squeeze those in and then move that and then do something. I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure we can figure it out together though. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, <laughs> How do I, before I even started picking this, I don't even know how I'm going to attempt to gut it, but we'll we'll do our best. Right, let's get that in the vise somehow, at least tight-ish. There we go. Um, what do I have to pick this with? Lots of nice picks. So I've got choices. Um, let's go bottom of the keyway to begin with, and let's see whether it will rake open. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. That was, let's try that again, let's try again. That is honestly the first time that I've um, uh, tried to pick this lock and it's already open. Wow. Um, that is, will it hold me back a bit more if I try and SPP it? Probably is the answer. Um, we'll give it a go though. Might be a particularly horrible, uh, like, feeling lock you know how these ones can be the, the sorts of cheaper locks they can be a bit you know funny sometimes can't they uh pin what am i on now oh pin one and we're open no i mean it basically picks itself what on earth is going on inside this I, I i have to find out now i have to find out what on earth is going on inside this lock um so if that is Super quality. It might be the best quality, but it's really terrible security. This is bad, even for even for one of these cheap locks. See, that's a problem. You're a sucker for packaging, uh, and you go for what looks really nice, but it's not exactly a high security lock, is it? Now, uh, I think you have to squeeze this somehow. So, do I have a pair of pliers or something I can use to squeeze? This, I've got a few things in my drawer just here. Let's have a go, so, um, do I squeeze in? I'm assuming I'm gonna squeeze these ends in and try to push this out somehow. Yeah, something like that. But then what do I do? I've got this end piece. How did they get that in? That's as far over as it can get. Can't move that in. It's like a it's like a puzzle. How on earth do they do it? So I can't move it this way because I have to get this out. Oh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, look, there's a notch. It slides out. I just need to keep going. Okay, push, 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 push. Right there we go. Got it. Wow. Lock designers never do this. This is a terrible, terrible design. Do not like. Right, pinning tray, some kind of follower, 
some kind of shim because I've got no idea what's going on there. Look at that, look at that bitting. That's pretty bad bitting, isn't it? No wonder it breaks so easily. I didn't feel a single spool in there. I reckon that all of this is entirely standard pins, all five standard pins. Just, uh, I hope it's not a skeletonized core. It's not, um, but there's a lot of room and play. These are, they look like they've been brushed or filed the tips of these pins. This is pretty yucky, I have to say. Let's get these out. Nice, thick, chunky pins. Look how brushed that core is there. And it's sharp, ow. Then I think I've got some tweezers nearby. Pinning tweezers, pinning tweezers. I had them like literally a minute ago for another video that I was filming on. I have to say, a far better quality lock. Um, so we've got standard as we expect. The next one is going to be almost certainly standard as well and standard. Uh, you, you know the way this is gonna go, don't you? Uh, I, I, I'm just gonna dump out all the pins. There's no point in like messing around. You know as well as I do that um, th there's all the springs as well. This is a, it's not like the worst made lock I've ever seen, genuinely. It's not like, uh, but it's it's just really super low security as, as you'd expect. It's, um. Yeah, it's just a, a bit of a, a poor quality lock for you. There's all those standard pins as we said. Yep, nothing more to it than that. Uh, but even I was surprised about how amazingly simple it was to open this lock up. It's crazy. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like. If you've got a comment about this, leave one below. I do read all the comments, reply to as many as I can. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing because it really helps me out. And I'll see you all next time.